I'm gonna leave a note. You think I'd leave without giving an explanation? I just want to put my bag by the door. Do you mind? I'm gonna leave the note first. Your pad and paper. Great. you were going to be late. I couldn't work anymore tonight, Mallet. I found... What are you doing? I, I, I just had to... I had to reach... Oh, no! I mean, look at you! You're, you're standing! You're not holding on to anything! You're standing all by yourself! <laughs> Up like it was nothing. Nothing. My heart rate's going about 350. I'm sweating like a dog. No offense, oh, Zyla. Your heart feels fine. It feels absolutely perfect. I can't believe it. This is what the doctor said it would be, that every day you would get stronger and stronger. But this was so subtle, I didn't see it. Yeah. It's really weird. I, I mean, just a couple of days ago, I thought I was getting worse. Really? Why didn't you say something to me? Harley, you can't go through every up and down I have. You're too busy with work. Look, let's, let's just forget about it. It's, let's just stop, okay? It's not a big deal. Okay. I have to tell you something, okay, about work. Um, this isn't good news. Alan Michael is the one who put you in the wheelchair. Did you say Alan Michael? Alan Michael planted the bomb? Well, we don't know if he was the one who planted the bomb, but he was involved with the person who did. Why? I don't know why. I haven't put those pieces together, but Alan Michael is definitely involved in this. So he was somehow connected to the woman who was hurt. Or, or, or she, she, it could have been an accident just like it was with me, and he was after someone else. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I... I can't believe that Alan Michael is involved in this. I was married to him, Mallet. I know. I hate it when I think about that. It's just... It makes me sick. It hurts me. I know, I know. I'm so glad that you're here for me when I came home all day. I've been kicking myself for fighting with you this morning. We, we shouldn't fight anymore yeah, like that. Things got way out of hand. I, I blame myself. I was, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You were discouraged and, and you're exhausted. I know you didn't mean any of the things that you said. Is that what this is? I, I was going to write you a letter. I haven't been able to communicate very well lately. I thought if I put it down on paper. Yes, I would rather read that you were leaving me than come home to an empty house and have to figure it out for myself. Well, I, I wasn't leaving you. It wasn't like that. No, you were packing bags and you were going to go out that door. That sounds like you were leaving me. It's not me. like I'm giving up on the relationship, Harley. Just the living together part for now. Or for a while. I'm gonna have to learn to do everything all over again, and I'm not fit to live with anyone. Why would you let me be the judge of that? Because you're a lousy judge. You have a high threshold for pain, and I'm tired of pushing that to the limit. And I was afraid you'd end up hating me. I've told you so many times that's not gonna happen. Not unless you, not unless you start leaving me notes instead of talking to me about things. I'm sorry. I just thought it was the best way. Where were you going to go? Edith has a client that was moving out of a ground floor apartment by the hospital. I thought I'd go take a look at it. 
Please don't. Harley, it's not like we won't see each other. I'm only going to be a few blocks away. No, it's not that. It's just... We already did that. But that's, that's not good enough now. Not for what we've become. We have been through so much together. And that changes a relationship. We can't go back to dating. Do you understand? Yeah. We can't go back. We can go forwards. Or we can end the relationship, but we can't go back. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, I'll stay and make your life miserable. I'm sorry for selling the short. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't make you feel like a bigger part of the investigation. Yeah. Well, wait. You can change all that right now. Tell me more about the Alan Michael thing. Um, oh. Well, there's not much. I mean, once we get the French woman, we can make an arrest. Make an arrest? Okay, listen, Harley, there can't be any slip-ups or mistakes on this arrest. I mean, if you leave even a pinhole for some lawyer to crawl through, Alan Michael, I guarantee, will go back to that Armani lifestyle. Oh, there's not going to be much of a life left for Alan Michael. He is going to lose everything. He'll lose... The company, he'll lose his trust funds. He's going to lose Eleni when she finds out. Wait, wait, Eleni doesn't know about this? Don't let her find out, because if she tips him off, he'll go so far underground, we'll never dig him up. And, and, and we can't tell Frank, either. Keeping this from them is not going to be as difficult as keeping this from Alan Michael. He's sniffing around at everything, always offering to help. And what about me? Oh, I, what do I do when I just feel like freaking out and slamming him up against a wall? Maybe it sounds like you need something to distract all your aggression. Maybe I can help. Yeah.